Chapter 3, problem 17E, we want to calculate the mass of 2.86 moles of this copper hexaammonium chloride. Um, the 3 isn't showing up very well on my... There we go. All right, so the first step we want to do here is to calculate the uh, formula weight using the subscripts in our chemical formula. So capital C, lowercase o, is cobalt, and there's one of those. And each one of those has a mass of 58.933. Uh, for nitrogen, there's a subscript of 1 that's not shown. Um, and there's a 6 outside the parentheses. So there's actually 1 times 6, or 6 nitrogen atoms. Each nitrogen has an average atomic mass of 14.007. I'm using um, the average atomic weights from ptable.com. Your weights might differ slightly, so use the ones that you have. For hydrogen, um, there's a subscript of 3, and there's a 6 outside the parentheses. So there are actually 18 hydrogen atoms in this formula. And each hydrogen on the periodic table is 1.008. So that gives me a mass of 18.144 for all the hydrogens. And then there's three chlorines from the formula. Each chlorine is 35.45. Okay, so that's how we use our periodic table here. Now once we get all of these weights from the different elements, we need to sum them all up. Okay, and that's going to be the formula weight of this substance in units of grams per mole. Step two, we want to convert from moles to grams, and we're going to use dimensional analysis. We are using, uh, starting with 2.86 moles of this formula. Okay, and uh, we want to use this formula weight now as our conversion factor. So we multiply by 267.469 grams. Divided by one mole of this formula. And so on our calculators, we would just enter 2.86 times 267.469. And that gives me 764.96134. Now, we want to round this off to three sig figs. So we're going to round it to 765. These are the units grams. And the chemical formula is that. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, please consider subscribing.